Hi guys, welcome to Ellie Diamonds, also known as Sparkle.DiamondPaint on Instagram. And today, there's another unboxing for you guys. So this is from the seller Evershine on AliExpress. I have heard that it is a Huacan sister company, but I haven't checked that for myself, so I can't say I'm 100% sure. I ordered, I think, two paintings from them. One of them is a custom, and the other one will be for my giveaway, which is happening very soon on Instagram and YouTube. So let's quickly see what we have. I already cut open the packaging because you guys know I have a very hard time dealing with tape. <laughs> okay okay so looks like the box are in pretty good condition except for this little bit over here okay let's just separate them and look at them one at a time The two paintings were taped together and we're just going to take a look at the bigger one first. I believe this one is my custom from them. It is inspired by the channel on YouTube called Tiny Worlds of Wonder. If you guys haven't checked it out, she is awesome. I'll leave her channel down below in the description box. So she did two custom paintings of um, very beautiful artwork by John William Waterhouse and that's how i knew about the artist so i checked out his work and i just fell in love with his style so i decided to get uh, one of his diamond painting uh, one of his artwork custom as diamond painting for myself i chose the artwork soul of the rose which i believe tiny world of wonder is doing and rachel raycraft uh, they're both doing it as a cross-stitching piece. And if you are interested in doing it as a cross-stitching piece, the pattern is available on Heaven and Earth Design, which I'll leave down in the description box below as well. And if you don't know what the painting looks like, I'll keep it a surprise for now until we look at the canvas. So first, let's take a look at the drills. Don't you just love it when sellers put the drills in the baggies with BMC numbered labels and everything already? Isn't that just so much better than having to kit up everything? I am lazy, so I'm not gonna bother putting them in a container. I'm just gonna use them like this when I do the painting. Okay, so uh, when, you, when you see them coming in like this, the sellers did them by weight. So usually like when, it, when it's like that, it doesn't come with an inventory sheet. You just have to trust the seller that they're giving you enough diamonds. But we can just take a look at the legend over here really quickly. There are 40 colors in total. Well, that's great. And then it is a 60 by 90 centimeter piece. Yeah, I'm just going to lay all the diamond out and we can take a look at them to see the quality. Okay, I just organized all the diamonds. You can see they're all in their order. And I am missing one diamond over here. And it is number 22. And I think the color is... Uh, the color is 734. Um, maybe I, I will message the seller and see what they can do or I might just order some drills because I don't think I have that color. Well, I'll figure that out as I start the painting. And now let's just take a quick look at the drill quality. So we will start with a light color. And also the first number is uh, the number corresponding to the legend and then the second number is the dmc number and then this is how many there should be so from here i can see there's a different colored one but that's okay and another <laughs> different colored one 
see the backs look good. You can see some little tiny tabs in, on some of them. Weird color. But they look okay. They don't look too bad. And then let's look at a dark color. Look at this one. There are little dimples in the back, but they don't really affect um, how they stick on the canvas. It's not a big deal. Anyhow, I think it looks pretty good. It's not any like major big issues, just a lot of dimples. Well, yeah, well, again, we don't know how the drills really are. I've heard a lot of bad things about Hua Can having popping drills, and if this is a sister company, then I am kind of worried about popping drills, but we'll just see as I work on the painting, and then I'll keep you guys updated either on YouTube or mainly probably on Instagram at sparkle.diamondpaint. I'll leave a link to my Instagram down below if you'd like to follow and follow me on my diamond painting journey and I'll be putting a lot more pictures on there than YouTube. But now, after the drills, let's take a quick look at the canvas. Okay, so as we can see, it does come around a foam roller and plastic wrap. Hmm. And tape. Interesting. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Okay. Let's roll that out. The canvas laid down pretty nicely. There's no major wrinkles. We can't even fit the whole thing in. There you go. See, it overall looks pretty nice. And I did notice that there's a huge chunk of border, but that's fine. We'll cut them all off anyway when we frame it in the end. And we'll just take a quick look at the legend here. I already showed you guys earlier, but if you're interested. This is the image. It is printed sideways. <laughs> and this is the legend with the symbols. Symbols all look pretty different. Huh. This might be a little issue. It's a G right side up and a G sideways. That's interesting. If you're working on your canvas sideways, make sure that you can tell the difference between, at least they're different colors, like the G is white and this G is black, but still. Okay, now I'm just going to peel up the canvas and show you guys. Okay, so here it is. The rendering looks really beautiful. Looks like it's gonna come out pretty well and not so pixelated, especially from a distance. So here is what the original painting looks like in case you don't know the image. I'll also leave a link of it down below. It is public domain, so you can download it for yourself to use as a custom as well. So there are no rivers on the canvas, as far as I can see. Yeah, and the canvas itself is pretty flat, so that's great. It's in very good condition. Now let's see how sticky it is. Very, very sticky. Perfect. And then it comes in six strips of adhesive, which I'll have a lot of fun putting them back. Uh, one problem that I did have while trying to peel the pieces back is that there's so much excess glue coming on. As you can like see, this entire thing is basically covered in glue. 
which I do not really like because it's just so much excess glue. Even if I put tape, I probably have to put two strips of tape to cover that glue, but oh well. And the canvas here is also not cut straight. And I like things to be straight, so <laughs> it bothers me a little bit. <laughs> I might have to cut that canvas so that lines up straight, but you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> see if I can deal with it. But yeah. Mm. Get most of the image in here. You can see it's very, very pretty. It is a artwork by John William Waterhouse and it's called Soul of the Rose. It's of a woman smelling rose on the wall. I just fell in love with the image. Everything about this image was beautiful. I really, really loved it. Yeah, let's just let me put all the heat sift back up and we'll take a closer look at the drill field. Okay, so I just pulled, put it back down. And I just wanna say that right now, this image is right side up. So you're looking at it this way. It is right side up. The head is over there and the bottom is over here. So let's just take a quick look at the drill field. I'll just pull up a corner. Okay. So as I said, this way is upright. We're looking at it upright. So the drill field, it's sideways, which makes the G even more confusing because we're working at it sideways and the G Remember that G symbol that's one is sideways, one is straight up? I really don't like that. Like, um, there is no, this, you can't, there isn't a small G, but I will post pictures if I do find one when I'm working on it. But you can see the big G, it is sideways right now, but the other one would be right side up. Okay, anyways, <laughs> you get my point. Quite confusing. Other than that, the drill field looks super clear. Very clear drill field. And this is when I realized I forgot to show you the toolkit. So it actually came with two toolkits and they look pretty nice. We have a pen, a clear pen with a blue squishy and I think a three placer or four placer in the back. Those super, super sharp tweezers. And a white bow with two long strips of wax, white bow with a funnel, and a 10 placer. And same thing in the other toolkit. So that's pretty nice to have two toolkits. I always like that. So if you want to work on it with somebody else at the same time, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching up until now. I am so sorry that I don't have the rest of the clip for this video. I was doing the unboxing for the giveaway painting in the video as well, but unfortunately I lost the clip and I've decided that maybe it is just best if I show the painting before I decide to do the giveaway. As you read in the earlier video, um, I mean the earlier parts of this video, that I am not planning on doing the giveaway with this painting just yet because of shipping complications, but there will be a different giveaway happening on my Instagram and YouTube very soon, and I hope you guys stay tuned for that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching my unboxing of this custom painting, this beautiful, beautiful painting by John William Waterhouse, Soft Rose, and the company I ordered from is Evershine. So thank you again for watching. Watching, and I'll put as much info in the description box as possible and if you like to keep up with my progress and whatever um, you want to know about diamond painting feel free to follow my Instagram the link will be down below as well and I'll also be announcing the giveaway details there happening soon so thank you so much and have a great day